بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم رب شهر رمضان الذي أنزلت فيه القرآن The Quran was revealed in the month of Ramadan and the night of Laylatul Qadr this book was revealed to the heart of Prophet Muhammad and actually it was the best gift of the Allah the Almighty to the human being. I don't know how we human being thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Actually we are it is a mountless La Tuhsa to thank to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for this great gift and grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Thank you, O oh, the Almighty, for this gift to the Prophet Muhammad. And thank to the Prophet Muhammad for receiving this great book. And the third thank to the great ulamas and exegists of the Quran. They interpret this book in a way that they made it understandable to us. Otherwise, with we would be deprived of this book and that was the great lust the actual let me say in this way the, uh, the, the, the heavy poverty i think it is not to be in poverty of the money the hard poverty is to be in lack of the quran Quran is the book of guidance. Brothers and sisters, Quran is not the book of science. Quran is not the book of chemics. Quran is not the book of physics. Quran is not the book of mathematics. Quran is not the book of history. Quran is not the book of geography. Quran is the book of guidance. But still, what it, it teaches to the human being is full of all of these sciences. Quran is not the book of science in a way that you say that it is the one of the book of to compare it with the other sciences. Never ever. Quran is a book of guidance. Huden. Book of science. And it is above all sciences. Actually, Quran is leading the sciences. Quran is lightening to the sciences in a way that sciences can go forward. That's why during history, some people thought that Quran is against the science. That was very misunderstanding because we discussed that Quran was not against the science. And also Quran is not next to the science in a way that to put the Quran and science in two positions to compare them. According to some scholars, they say something very nicely and wisely that Quran is above the sciences and all sciences and knowledge are covered under the umbrella of the Quran. So based on that, many sciences, they bring their theories, their ideas, their discoveries, their products, but still Quran is forwarding. Never compare the scientific products with the Quran, never ever because they are not comparable. Quran is more above than science. If it is so, Quran is not the book of the science. Quran is, next, is not next to the science. Quran is not against the science, but Quran is the book of guidance above the sciences. Based on Quran, the sciences should be promoted, developed to, be, to bring more facilities, understandings, and the products to the human being. Stay with us in the next sessions. We will discuss again more about Quran and science. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.